So welcome back to another episode of The Things We Want in FC 25. This is the show where you guys send in your suggestions on the things you want to see in the next game. We talk about it and we'll see if EA delivers when the time comes. Today we're going to have some of my suggestions but also some of the community suggestions as well. And of course this show is a community show. This is the people's show. If you want a chance to get featured leave a comment on the things you want to see in the next game and I might actually talk about it in the future. We've got some new face suggestions and we've got three players to talk about. The first one is Restez who plays for Toulouse. This guy is a goalkeeper, 18 years old, 74 overall, with an 87 potential. Of course, in EAFC, he does have a generic face, but also in eFootball, he's got a generic face as well. The next one is Alberto Gonzalez. This guy plays for Las Palmas, and he's a left mid, 19 years old, 77 overall with an 87 potential. But unfortunately, in FC24, he does have a generic face, and also in eFootball, he has a generic face as well. And the last one today is Gonzalo Ramos, who plays for PSG and also the Portuguese national team. 22 years old, a striker, 79 overall with an 86 potential. In FC24, he does have a generic face. Since he plays for PSG, I reckon EA will sort that out. But Konami has already sorted it out, and he's got a real face in eFootball, so once once again, Konami beats EA in the faces department. Next up, I want to talk about the Vanarama National League. This was a league that has already been suggested many times for this series and for many other years before as well. Callum says, I want the National League and the National League North and South. So if you want to do the road to glory, then you can start in a non-league like National League South and make your way to the Premier League. Henry says National League. And then we've got Eben who says they should also add the National League teams because if you get relegated with a League 2 team, you wouldn't actually be relegated. Timothy says Venerama National League. Raheem says I want the National League in FC 25. So you can see that there is already a lot of demand to have the National League in an FC game. Now if you didn't know what the Venerama National League is, it is the fifth division in England, so it's under the EFL League 2. As you know, currently in FIFA we have the Premier League, we have the EFL Championship, and then we go down to EFL League 1 and EFL League 2. The Vanarama would sit underneath EFL League 2, and basically you would start in Vanarama National League and work your way up. So it would be a nice road to glory to go from League 2 all the way up to the Premier League and try and compete in the Champions League and all that. It would be fun. You might remember there was like an EA Sports petition created by Vanarama, and there's actually a website, you'll still find it if you search it up on Google. It's called like FIFA Petition or something. And it doesn't have a date here, so I don't know when it was created, but it was around FIFA 19. It says, in 2019, we embarked on a huge mission on behalf of the Venerama National League fans to get their favorite club into FIFA 20. Every year, passionate non-league football fans have been calling for their division to be available on each new installment of the FIFA series, only for it to fall on deaf ears. The Venerama National League continues to grow year in, year out, and deserves the recognition for being the fiercely competitive leagues they are. EA Sports needs to to stand up and take note and give the fans what they want. In a call to arms, we created a petition and redesigned the FIFA 20 cover to simulate what it might look like to have a National League club representing the game. The fans went wild. We received over 11,000 signatures and had coverage in the Daily Mail, Independent Guardian, Sport Bible, and Football 365 to name a few. Unfortunately, EA Sports declined to put the National League in the FIFA 20, and with the news this year that the league also wouldn't feature in FIFA 21, we decided to create our very own Ultimate Team concept cards of the league's best players. So yeah, you can see what these cards would look like in Ultimate Team. You've got Rooney there, and uh, we've got this guy here. So I guess it's just our concept cards. We won't stop until every National League fan has their team represented on FIFA. Support our mission by tweeting us using the get us in the game hashtag. So this was the change.org petition at the time created by Venerama. 11,000 signatures there. FIFA 23 did have a National League club. Wrexham at the time was a part of the National League and they were added into FIFA 23. It was probably based on a promotional marketing thing, but the club was fully licensed. You had the proper players and all that and the kits. And in terms of ratings, for a club from the National League, EA gave their players around a 60 overall. And you could use the team in career mode. You just had to swap with a team from EFL League 2. But since Wrexham got promoted, there's no Venerama National League teams in the game anymore. Maybe EA could start with a couple clubs and then work their way towards a full-on competition. Over the last few years, I haven't really seen much talk about EA wanting to introduce the Vanarama League into the game, besides the occasional fake tweet that comes out every year about it. I'm not sure if EA could get the National League into the game, because you do have to consider licensing. Is it going to be possible to acquire a National League license and get all the club names, all the official kits, all the official player names? Not too sure how that would work, but it would be nice to actually have the National League in the game. As you can see, there is a lot of demand from the people out there. Hopefully they can do it one day. Every year we get the playable referee suggestion. We've got a few already for this show. Lil Parry says we need to have a ref career mode and managers should be able to get yellow and red cards. But how are you going to book a manager if he doesn't do anything in the game already? You know, it's not like they abuse people. Mr. McChicken 
says, if you haven't talked about adding a ref simulator where you act like the ref, I think you should because it would be really fun to see what decisions you can make. And Henry says, be a ref career mode. If the manager career mode and the player career mode need improvement, and have been pretty underwhelming. How are we going to get a decent ref career mode? Like literally, what would the features be? I don't really think a ref career mode would interest a lot of people, but I do think maybe a kickoff mode could be a little bit of fun, where you can go into kickoff, play one game as a referee, and you can be the dirtiest referee in the game, not calling any fouls, or you could be a very strict one. It's all up to you. So I think a career mode would be too far. I would get bored personally, but I would definitely try a referee mode if it was available in kickoff. But I guess maybe EA could be working on some sort of be a ref mode in FC24, they did introduce some sort of referee camera angle. When the referee is going to give a card out, sometimes you would notice a first person view and you would see the referee, you know, doing the card motion and uh, talking to the players there. Also, when the referee does the spray for the free kicks, you can see a first person view of the ref putting the spray down. That's sort of what a referee mode could be like in the game. Not sure if that's just a fancy presentation from EA or if they're trying to hint that in the future there could be a be a ref mode. Next up, we've got something from Aura NC who says, I would love to see players getting angry at each other after an insane foul. There could be a cutscene where players start to run to the area where the foul was made and then we would see players push each other while the referee is interfering. This would make it more intense and interesting and it would definitely feel more real. So basically, let's get punch-ons into the game. I remember when I played PES 2013, there was this cutscene where the player had enough of the other guy and there was almost a punch on the ref was involved players hugging the guy pulling him back that was the most intense cutscene I've seen that I can remember and it was basically because of this push from Ferdinand to Gomez into the back of him so you can see that that kind of reaction is pretty cool in a game some career mode players want to start unemployed Marmod the icon 10 says start unemployed and they also mentioned the Venerama League which we spoke about earlier Gollum says I hate the fact that you can't start as an international manager or unemployed oh M22 says, I'd love a manager career where you start unemployed like on Football Manager and you get approached by clubs and have a proper journeyman career. Also, even better if you could start as an under-21 manager and build up from there to manage the first team. But that would mean they would have to have some sort of under-21s league in the game. I don't know if we're ever going to see under-21 leagues in that in the game. If you were to start unemployed, I guess EA could generate some job offers for you, but maybe they would be from lower-ranked clubs. Maybe you could apply to some clubs. I'm not sure how it would work but I guess football manager players would know how it works. And one thing I didn't consider before was, of course, starting off as an international manager. Why can't we do that? Some people don't want to manage a club. They just want to lead a national team to Euro glory or World Cup glory. You could start off as an international manager and then work your way into club level through the job office system. 